Who gets burnout? Are you at risk? You may not be suffering from any type of chronic stress right now. You experience stress, but you assume it's at the same level as most people and you handle it easily. What you need to ask yourself is this. Are the problems in your life putting you at risk of going from a normal level of stress to full-blown burnout? Burnout and stress are related. Chronic stress, always having to deal with stressful situations and problems in your life, can lead to burnout. On the other hand, regular doses of stress are actually good for you. It's a way your body protects you. The stress response is tied to your fight or flight instinct. All your senses become fully aware, in case you have to battle a threat or run in the opposite direction very quickly. Burnout results from experiencing that situation constantly. Your mind, body, and or emotions are relentlessly being hammered to the point that they give up. They simply can't take anymore. Even the strongest willed person can suffer seriously from an endless barrage of stress to the point that some part of you shuts down. Am I a candidate for burnout? The first thing you need to ask yourself is if you love your job. If you do, you likely don't have an issue. When you get up each morning and can't wait to get to work, that means your stress isn't unbearable. It's a sign that there isn't chronic stress awaiting you to clock in and get to work. If you don't work, what do you do most of the time? Does that cause you a lot of stress? Again, if stress isn't a constant companion in your life, you probably don't have to be worried. Burnout comes from a consistent and relentless delivery of stress. Whether it's on the job, at home, or anywhere else, it's stress that you can't escape. It's right in your face, and it gets you to the point where you feel like you're going to explode. Some jobs are more stressful than others. Yahoo Finance reports the following occupations are more likely to lead to burnout than some others. Retail, surgeon, fast food worker, social worker, air traffic controller, construction worker, teacher, nurse, certified public accountant, firefighter, and emergency medical technician. If you don't work in any of those jobs, that doesn't mean you're immune to burnout. Frequently experiencing stress is never a good thing. Consult a mental health professional if you feel